a kid, I was fascinated with large animals, dinosaurs, mammoths, whales, things like that, and I just never grew out of it. And have a background in fabrication and welding, so the two um, went together very well. It is indeed rare. The last known blue whale rec on record uh, that stranded in Oregon was 200 years ago. And globally, I'm aware of only 21 uh, skeletons of blue whales that are on display in the way that, that we wish to do so. So it's, it's a rare event. It's an exciting um, opportunity for us and we're, we're thrilled to make it happen. The best we can tell is the animal may have been suffering uh, sickened by the demoic acid, unable to feed properly, and perhaps debilitated, thus making it vulnerable to being hit by a ship. Ship strikes of large whales are quite common and a big problem globally these days. We don't know if it was hit by a ship before it died or after it died. Unfortunate for this whale, but very fortuitous for us in the world. the cranium, the top of the skull from the blue whale, it was damaged so badly that we have to reconstruct a replica for the replication. So we're going to be carving a, a, a exact size replica out of foam that will be used in the reconstruction. We specialize in natural history uh, exhibits and design and we do props for movies and things like that as well. So nothing outside of our wheelhouse. This is the largest project we worked on. The, the next largest whale that we've articulated was a 60 foot humpback. And we've done some large sauropod dinosaurs as well. This is going to be a very incredible uh, incredibly valuable specimen. We will hope to use it for research uh, by students and scientists and we hope that uh, people will visit Hatfield Marine Science Center just to view the awesomeness of a complete blue whale.